For decades, we as a species have been launching objects into space to look at the far side of the moon. But landing there? Well, that's a feat humankind just hasn't accomplished until now. When China's Chang'e 4 spacecraft descended into the Von Karman crater last night, it became the first object to ever make a successful, soft landing on the moon's dark side. Congratulations are in order to all the people who made this landing possible. But now we're left with a bigger question. What comes next? In the short term, at least, Chang'e has plenty of work to do. The rover is loaded up with six scientific payloads, and over the course of its mission, it'll examine minerals, measure ambient radiation levels, search for subsurface water, and peer deep into the lunar surface with ground-penetrating radar. Beyond that, scientists are also curious about what Chang'e will hear from its lonely outpost. You see, since the moon is tidally locked, the far side of the moon never faces the Earth. So, in addition to just being generally cool, that also means the far side is shielded from all the radio wave noise we generate. Because of that, Chang'e can listen more closely to low-frequency emissions from space that radio astronomers on Earth just might miss. As big a deal as this landing is, Chang'e 4 is also meant to lay the groundwork for future missions. China's next lunar missions are all about landing rovers on the surface to collect samples to bring home. But remember those radiation tests I mentioned? Yeah, those were devised by a team of researchers in China and Germany to get a sense of how much radiation astronauts will be exposed to when we return to the moon in person. And yes, I do mean when. In April 2018, China's National Space Administration laid out some rudimentary plans to build a manned lunar research station as soon as 2030. So the data that Chang'e collects, not to mention the insight future missions provide, all of that is bound to come in handy. We'll see you next week with more Engadget Today.